Hi, welcome to Holcroft Nissan's review on the all-new Qashqai N-Connector 2. Starting at the front, we've got the original V-Motion grille that Nissan have retained um, and also LED lights across the front, which you get on every model in the range. And then, of course, behind the Nissan badge, it still retains the sensor for the forward emergency braking system, which now includes cyclist recognition as well as pedestrian recognition. One of the things I like most about this Qashqai is a nice little styling touch, just the, the imprint of the Qashqai name on the side there. I think that's a really classy touch. Um, we've got the new 18-inch design wheel here with a nice good profile to the tyre, so nice and comfortable too. And moving on down the side, we've got the, the cameras that are better integrated now into the, uh, the wing mirror, because of course we've got the all-round 360 cameras that Nissan are famous for. Next we have the intelligent key. This has a new function uh, whereby you can set it in the car as you approach. It will unlock itself without the need to press any button, and also as you walk away, uh, it can lock itself again without the need to press any button. As you can see, this car is in the storm white, pleasant white paint with the pearl black roof. A uh, lovely two-tone option, which is now uh, available on this Qashqai. Um, and just a, a small little note as well, the fuel filler cap, instead of being released from the inside, just a release like that, making it much more convenient. At the back of the vehicle, we've also got LED lights all the way across the back and across uh, the entire range too. And I love this little touch too, with the Qashqai name just there. And of course, we've got the new Nissan logo as well on this uh, Model 2 Qashqai. Opening the boot, nice and easy light. Um, we've got the board system, which comes from this model onwards, this being the middle of the range. There are actually 16 different configurations to these boards. One of my favourite is just that one there. Just personally speaking, with the little ones, we can have the buggy here and have our shopping just like that. And just finally, it's got a lovely uh, wipe clean surface that side if you're doing a tip run, for example. Uh, as well as a nice carpet side for everyday use. And what I'd like to do now is show you the all new interior of this Qashqai as well, which I think you'll agree with me is a lovely place to be. Right, here we are on the inside. Um, we've got this huge new screen, 12.3 uh, inches for the Qashqai. Um, still retains things like the dual zone climate control, and as I mentioned, the all round cameras and your multifunction steering wheel as well. Um, we've also got a few new things for the car too. So we've got your drive modes down here that's been taken from the Duke. So you start in standard as a default. You've got sport if you nudge it forward and economy if you nudge it back. Now we've got the ignition on. You can see, uh, you may be able to see, we've got all digital dials here as well from this model onwards. And I love this piano black trim that they've used around the gear lever and just in the doors as well. And we've still got the nice black trim across the, the dashboard here. Now, what I'd like to mention next is this little uh, notice that comes up every time you do start the ignition. Um, it's something that one day could save your life, basically, because what you're agreeing to when you press OK is to share your direction of travel and your location. And should you ever be unfortunate enough to be involved in an accident, there is an SOS button just in the ceiling here that will directly contact to you to the emergency services but if the accident was severe enough, it will contact you, uh, the emergency services automatically, and should you not be able to respond, they will send help to where you are, as long as you press OK on that screen. So we've got the TomTom Tom maps on the screen here, lovely great big display as I mentioned on this new large screen, very easy to use and free updates over the air for three years as well. Uh, as I mentioned, we do have the all-round cameras, which gives you a great forward view. If you press the button there, you can get your plan view and your forward view. Pressing it again gives you a, a parallel park view and once more, full front and then back to standard. But of course, if you engage reverse or the parking sensors detect anything around you, it brings up that image automatically as well. In the Qashqai, you can connect your phone via Bluetooth, but also from this model upwards, uh, wireless Apple CarPlay and also Android Auto as well, but that is uh, still wired for now. Um, you can have two phones paired at once as well, simultaneously, and up to six in total. And of course, under the armrest here, there's USB, USC sockets as well, but also on the back of the armrest where they've added a couple of air conditioning vents for the comfort of your rear passengers too. So now we're in the back of the Qashqai and when I was sitting in the front, that was my driving position and as you can see, I've got loads of leg room. I'm just a touch under six foot myself, also got loads of headroom as well 
And one of the things that this uh, new model Qashqai is becoming famous for is the ease of getting in and out because as you can see these doors open almost 90 degrees. In this Qashqai it retains the 1.3 uh, turbocharged petrol engine, four cylinders that was used in the old Qashqai but now with the mild hybrid system as well. So although it can't drive on electric only, it, all, it does support the engine. The alternator can be an electric motor, giving you a little boost uh, for performance when you're accelerating or for economy when you're cruising. And in fact, Nissan claimed that it's four MPG better than the outgoing model and six grams per kilometer cleaner as well, which makes it better for you and better for everyone else as well. So if you'd like more information, a test drive or a quote on this Qashqai or any of our range, then please get in touch with us. You can either do that via WhatsApp, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, we have a YouTube channel as well, of course, where you're watching this video, perhaps, and also our three sites in Hanley, Crewe and Northwich as well uh, as our website too.